Well, you know what time it is now. It's time to scam the IRS scammers. And this one is area code 215274 9793. Uh, yes, uh, I received a phone call, uh, uh, well, I received a message uh, to call this number back. I'm sorry, what, what was that? When did you receive the phone call? Um, it was late last night, actually. Uh, I just got home this morning. Okay, can I have your first name and your last name before I get any information? Um, sure, my first name is Jack, and my last name is Skellington. Uh, I can spell that, it's S-K-E-L-L-I-N-G-T-O-N. Right. Okay. So, uh, Mrs. Kellington, can I have your current address? My current address is 420 Green Acres Way. Okay. Green Acres Way. Okay. Wait, right? Yeah, Green Acres Way. Uh, what's the zip code? Yeah, it's 49802. So, uh, Mr. Derek, I want you to be on hold for a second. Let me pull out a guest file and let me give you the information, okay? Okay. Thank you. Let's be on hold. Okay, Mr. Kenny Tom, are you there? Yeah, yes, sir. Okay. So, I want you to write down some information. So, do you have a pen and piece of paper here? Oh, uh, okay. I, 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 let me grab a pen here. Write it down. My name is Officer James Martin. Oh, okay. Uh, officer what? Did you say? My first name is James. Yes, sir. Let me spell it, okay? J I M. That's my first name. My last name is Martin. It's M A R T I N. Did you got that? All right, Jim. I'm sorry. Okay. I do. Okay. So, okay, so, the reason behind this call is to inform you that there are some legal allegations and the lawsuit has been filed against you by Internal Revenue Service. So, are you aware about the situation? Oh, uh, I am not. Okay, so, I will just go ahead and read all the legal charge against your name. As per the document, we conducted an audit on your tax files between the year of 2010 to 2014 and we found that there is a miscalculation error in the tax, which you filed. It does not match the tax record that we have. So according to section 101, that amount is still outstanding on the net that you have not paid. And for this reason, the local authorities with arrest warrant will be at your place. Your driver license will be cancelled. Everything under your name, like your property, your bank account, everything will be freezed. And you will also face a federal imprisonment for up to five years. And now, the outstanding amount on your name that is five thousand six hundred sixty four dollars and nineteen cents, which including your pending taxes, legal charges and the lapses. So did you do this intentionally or it was by mistake? No, oh, I'm I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I haven't even filed taxes in the last few years, so I'm I'm unsure what 
what what I did wrong. I mean, um, I, I I don't believe in ta paying my taxes, so I don't. Um, I, I I guess okay. I I'm not. Now, me, I'm sorry. Okay, now let me tell you. Now let me tell you, Mr. Skeleton. But every five to six years, there is a random audit conducted on your bank file, and it is not only for you. It is for every U.S. citizen. And the recently audit on your case file between the year of 2010 to 2014. All those years, the tax which you filed that was incorrectly filed. And that was insufficient. That's the reason the amount is still outstanding on an end. And the government believes that you did this intentionally to defraud the IRS and try to run away from the situation. So right now, there is an arrest warrant issued under your name, and we are already moving forward with the lawsuit. So you have basically two resolvement options with you. The first option is you can hire a criminal attorney and fight this case against the Internal Revenue Service. But if you are proven guilty, then you will have to pay a penalty charge up to seventy to seventy-five thousand dollars in imprisonment for up to five years. And the second option is you can resolve this case outside the courthouse by clearing the outstanding amount under section 101. So what's your intention? What do you say? Do you want to resolve this case or you want to fight against the internal revenue service? I'm not, uh, you know what, I'm, I, I, I mean, I, I guess I should pay, I mean, I don't know, I, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, I mean, re really, I, I hope to God Trump wins. Did you vote today, by the way, James? I, I mean, Jim, did you happen to vote today? I'm sorry? Uh, did you happen to vote today? I'm wondering, uh, you, you know, hopefully if, if Trump gets elected, uh, we won't have to pay any more taxes. I mean, that's really what I'm hoping. So, I mean, should I wait until after the election to find out who won? I mean, because if, if, if Trump wins, uh, then chances have, are I won't have any taxes to pay. Have, I'm sorry? We don't have that much time. We don't have that much time, okay, to call you every Right now, at this part of moment, you have only 45 to one hour to cancel down your arrest warrant. Or else, right now, you, you commit a tax fraud. Your name is in a tax fraud. And the lawsuit has been filed against you by the Internal Revenue Service. So you have only 45 minutes to resolve this case outside the courthouse. We are giving you a fair opportunity to resolve this case outside the courthouse because your best recourse is clear. Right. Well, the only problem I have is I don't I don't have five thousand six hundred and sixty four dollars right now. Um, no problem. I, uh, I I've I've only got I've only got a couple of thousand actually, and it's buried in the backyard. I'll have to go dig it up, but uh, it's really that's about all I have right now. But uh, Mr. Skeleton. Yes. Okay. No problem. If you don't have that much amount with you. We can provide you with a monthly payment plan. But before we do that, I would like to know how much maximum amount can you afford today to the internal revenue service to cancel on your arrest warrant. Oh, oh, oh okay. Amount from the same. All right. So, how much amount can you afford to pay today to cancel on your arrest warrant? Um, well, I, I mean, I, I, I've got 2000 that I, I could, but I mean, I, I'm going to need a little bit of money for gas and stuff, too. Um, how about, like, 1975 I mean, would, would, that, would that help? Okay, so, uh, the one thing is already to resolve this case outside the courthouse, I would transfer you probably one of my senior supervisors. You can talk to them, and let's see something can can work out or not, okay? Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you for holding the line. You call us with transfer to the senior restitution officer, Sean Taylor. I'm speaking with uh, Jack Skellington, correct? Uh, yep, this is Jack. Uh, Jack, I believe the officer must have told you for what reason the lawsuit has been filed against you through a department, correct? Well, I mean, that's, that's what he said, but like I told him, hopefully Trump gets elected so we won't have any more taxes. Well, I was just telling James or Jim or whatever his name was that, uh, you know, hopefully when Trump gets elected, uh, we won't have any more taxes and I won't have to pay any more. Wow. Call ended.
<laughs> Let's call him back, shall we? Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Um, yes, I, I was just on the phone and uh, I got cut off. I don't I'm not sure what happened. This is this is Jack Skellington. This is Jack Skellington. Okay, Mr. Jack, can you verify me your zip code? Uh my zip code is four nine eight zero two. Four nine eight zero two. Okay, so um, did my colleague provide you any information regarding this case, sir? I, I'm sorry? Did my colleague provide you the information regarding this case, sir? Uh, yes, he did. Okay, so, like, uh, so, what, so what information did he provide you, sir? Well, we were just discussing how much I was willing to pay, uh, today to take care of this, um, uh, this arrest warrant or whatever it was, and uh, suddenly the phone just died. I the last thing I heard is I had like 40 minutes to take care of it, and well. Okay, so like, uh, how much were you? Uh, how much were you going to pay today? Well, I said I was going to pay 1750, but I don't guess that was good enough. Um, I, I, that, that's when they hung up on me. So, I'm sorry. You said like seven hundred fifty dollars. Well, no, it was uh, the the well the amount I owe is uh, five thousand six hundred and sixty four, and uh, I've only yeah, got a few fine. thousand buried in the backyard, so I was going to go grab some of that. So, what I was thinking is around seventeen fifty one seven five zero. It's one thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. You're saying that you uh, you're paying the settlements, right? Right. Right. Okay, so like, um, uh, will it be okay if I transfer this call to my senior supervisor? Oh, uh, another officer, you said? Ah, uh, yes, our senior supervisor. He'll be providing you the information on how you have to make a payment and where you have to go, okay? On which local hours you have to go. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Thank you. Okay, just have, have a, a great day, sir. Okay, just come around for All right. Honey, can you get the shovel for me? I gotta go dig that up now. I know, we didn't want to spend it, but we're going to have to. Yeah, it's buried out there by the septic tank. If you just dig a little bit to the left there. Yeah, it's about a foot down. Just just look for that rope, yeah. Okay? So, yeah, if you get out there and dig that up for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Speaking with Jack Skellington, correct? Yeah, this is Jack. Yeah, what happened, Jack? We got disconnected. I was talking to you. I'm yeah. I'm not really sure what happened. It just uh, I don't know if my phone died or what happened. Okay, hold on. All right. Hold sure. On. Just hold on. Okay. This is Richard. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Richard. I'm not exactly. I was gonna make a payment today. Okay, so you're supposed to pay the outstanding amount. You mean to say? Well, they told me I owed uh, $5,664, and I can't pay all that. I don't have that much. So, what I was hoping to do is just make a... Like, how much you can pay today? Uh, well, I was going to try to pay uh, 1750 So, you can pay 1750 Okay, not a problem. So, do you have the 1715 as a cash with you, or... In your bank account. Well, actually, I don't. I don't use bank accounts. I don't believe in banks. Um, I actually keep all my cash here on hand. Uh, and actually, my wife is outside right now digging it up all the backyard. Um, yeah, believe it or not, that's what we do. But so I mean, yeah, I, I'll, I'll have the cash. Okay, no problem. Okay, so you have the like how we can make your payment. Okay. One moment, like according to your first identity, like we are not going to accept your debit or your credit card or the phone call, and even though like you have the cash with you. So what you need to do, like you need to convert your cash into an electronic card on which you need to load your total 1750 on it. You can purchase the card from any general store nearby you, where you can get the card. 
and you can deposit the money on it. Once you have the cards with you, what I'm going to do, like I'll give you an appointment at the local IRS office where you can go and you can make your payment. Okay. So what you need to do, like you need to locate any one of the Target store nearby you where you can go and purchase a Target card. I believe like on each Target card, there is a limit of $2,000. So you need to get one card of $1,000 and you need to load the money on it. Once you have the money on it, I'm going to register the card on your name, send your details to your local IRS office where you have to go and submit the card and you can collect the documentation from there. I see. Until the time you do this thing, like... Okay, so do you have any Target store nearby you? Um, I... I I'll, honey, are there any Target stores by here? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, she said there is one locally here. Um, it's a town over, but... Like, how far you would be from the Target store? Oh, uh, it's probably about 40 minutes, I'd say. 40 minutes, okay, no problem. Can you just, uh, help me out with your... Zip code, your present zip code, so I can try to look at an IRS office for you. Uh, zip code is 49802. 49802. Four, four, nine, eight, zero, zero. Zero, 02. Is that your zip code? Yeah, zero, 02. Yeah. Man, you guys got a lot of people working in their office. So you have to go to the Target store, and you need to purchase a card. Like, till the time you go to the store, like, you need to be online with me. Once you reach there, you can let me know, and we'll go from there. Oh, you, so, wait, you want me to take the phone with me when I go? Yes. Oh, so you're just going to stay on the line then? Exactly. And you did hear me when I said it's going to be like, it, it, it's it's a fairly long drive. That's okay though. That's fine. Oh, okay. If getting disconnected, I'll give you. Just make sure you can pick up the call. Okay. Let me grab my key, sir. So let me know once you are in your car. All right. Avenue, it's market four nine eight five five. It's around like forty miles from here. Right, yeah, about yeah, about forty minutes. Okay. So once you're in your car, just let me know. Then you can start driving. Alright, I'm just getting my keys here, cigarettes, grab a couple of beers for the road. Hey honey, hey honey, can you grab me that vodka? I'm gonna take that with me too. All right. May as well have a few drinks on the way, eh? No problem, sir. You can do it whatever you want. Once you reach, once you're in your car, just let me know. All right. Well, I'm I'm in the garage now. I'm just climbing into the car here. I got one of these cool electric cars, you can barely even hear it. Alright, got the door shut. Right I'm gonna pour myself one of these drinks here. Alright, backing out the driveway here. I'm just going to set the phone down because I don't want to be holding the phone and driving. Is that okay? You can put me on speaker and you can put your phone aside. Oh, well, perfect then. Because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, hard to, it's, it's, it's hard to hold the phone and uh, drink my drink and drive at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, oh, yes, sir. You cannot do that. Thing. You can put your phone aside, put me on speaker, and you can drive. Awesome. And all right. Well, now let's see how long it takes me to get there. Yes. Okay. Once you're reaching your car, just let me know. Yeah, I'm driving right now. You're driving. No, it, is, it doesn't seem like you're driving. 
I got one of those uh, nice electric cars. It, no, no noise. No noise. Yeah, I can open the window if you like. You can open your window. What's that? Still, I cannot see like you're driving. What do you mean? Hello? I'm going to say that you're not driving. Yeah, I said I'm driving now. Well, once you read this, just let me know that. Okay. It's going to be a long one there. Oh. Roll the window down a little bit. So did you vote in the election today? Sounds like you're busy there. Left here. Man, that's a nice car there. North on M95. All right. So how's your day going? I'm um, what's that? Which, which side of the story are going? Oh, uh, the one up in Marquette. Okay. Roll the window down here a little. Or up, I should say. There he goes. Yeah. Good thing I voted this morning, you know. I don't know, I was gonna have to go to Marquette. Okay. Hey, honey, would you make me one of the drinks? A little more vodka on this one, though. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, I, I think it's just going through a bad area. I'm on the cell phone, you know. Okay, no problem. Once you reach there, like how much time is it going to take, like more? Oh, uh, I don't know. Probably another 30, 35 minutes at least. Okay, no problem. Once you reach there, just let me know I'll be back all right with you. Oh, oh okay. Oh yeah, that bike is going down good. Oh, 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 stay on the road, stay on the road. Oh. <laughs> Damn, you ran off the road. You still there? Oh, you're still there, good. I'm actually pulling into the parking lot here now. I, I, there's one a lot closer than that. I didn't know that was here. Like nearby or Well, I'm sorry, what's that? You cut out. So I'm you said I needed to go buy you said I needed to go buy a card, uh like a gift card I mean a, a like a well a, a, I guess gift card like you said? 
yes, you need to get a target gift card. It will be having a value of two thousand. You can load like your seventeen hundred and fifty on each car. Oh, so uh, cool! I only need one car then. The car will not cost you anything. Oh, okay. There, uh, there, I, I bet they. I, I bet they charge me taxes though. Okay, well, let me go in here and get this card. I'll be right back. Do you want me to take the phone with? You can take your phone with you, or you can leave it in your car. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll just leave it in my car. I'll be right back. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back, honey. Okay. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. So now you said you were going to send me uh, where? No, first I need to verify the numbers on the card. Just flip the card, you will be able to see a scratch on it. Okay. Did you see something to scratch? Um, can you mean like a lottery ticket, sort of? Exactly. Just scratch it off. You will be able to see some numbers. Okay, I got the numbers, and 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 now now what am I supposed to do with these? I thought you said you were sending me to the IRS give me or something. The I'm sorry. What? Yes. I'll send. Give me the numbers. I need to register the card on your name. So when you go to the IRS office, they're gonna cross check it and they'll collect the card for me. So I would be needing the numbers that are on the card. Okay. We have some numbers. Can you just help me out with those numbers? I can so just check with the system and put it on your file. Okay, hold on one second. All right, cause this is a this is an Apple card, and it's got letters that it doesn't have numbers. It starts with letters. Is that right? Can you help? Just help me out with the numbers. Well, it will be an alphanumeric number. Okay. Well, it starts with A. A. A, A as an apple. Yeah. A as an apple. J. Okay. Four seven two. Four seven two. Eight nine eight. Eight nine eight. Four eight. Five. Four eight. Five. Right. Okay. Who told you to purchase an Apple card? I told you to get a Target card and you went to a Target store. Wait, what? I told you to purchase a Target card, not an Apple ID card. Oh, right, but you know, you just said grab a gift card from Target and they had these Apple cards there, so I figured that was it. Okay, is this the number that you gave me? Can you just confirm it? I'm sorry? Can you just confirm me the numbers that you gave me? Which numbers? The card number. The card number that you gave me just now, a moment ago. Hold on, let me find it. I just, I just set it down. Okay, well, okay, how much did you load on this card? Can you let me know? Uh, yeah, I did 1750. Do you want things? Uh, you have the card on your hand, right? Right. Do you have it on your hand? Yep. Okay. No, I'll tell you what you need to do with that card. Just roll the card and shovel it in your ass. Your payment is accepted. I'm sorry, do you want me to do what with it? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, he just hung up on me. I'm guessing, uh, I don't know what the hell did he, what, what did he say? Shovel it in your ass, shovel it in your ass, shovel it in your ass. Take the card and I did. I think he said shove it. Shove it in your ass. I'm I'm not really sure, but uh. <laughs> see, this is how much fun you can have with the IRS scammers. Um, 
just make up your own phone call, make up your own numbers, and totally waste their time. I enjoy it. Did you? Let's call them back.